Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your uh, October 2016 general month ahead reading. Sorry that the reading's a little bit late in coming, it's just that I've been extraordinarily busy. I'm going to really try my hardest for November to get these readings done earlier. So, um... I don't really like recording too early in the month for the next month, that's the only thing. I just have a thing about it, I prefer to record kind of closer to the month, so we'll see how that goes, we'll see how that sort of, um, sorry, just fixing my bra straps, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes, we'll see how that's um, worked out for you guys. Okay, so um, if you like a private reading with me, Virgo, just go to www carolsuniverse.co.uk so it's interesting for the month um, and sometimes as a tarot reader it's about how do we you know how do we interpret the cards how do we play do we see a kind of semi-negative semi card as being a good card or do we see it negatively the, the tarot is a difficult tool it is it is and you've got to be kind of um, the main things of a tarot reader really is to re to rely on your intuition along with the general meanings of the card. So, you know, anyone that says, well, you don't really need to go with the general meanings or you don't need to know much about the cards at all, you just need to go with what you feel, I don't feel that's the right advice. At some point I'm going to be, probably sometime next year, I'm going to be looking to start doing tarot classes online and in person in my, in my area because... Um, I'm just going to be looking to get uh, certain things in place and then I'm going to go for it because I love the tarot and I love how it makes me feel when I'm doing it. But I recognise the more and more I do tarot that it is important to know what the general meanings are but also how do they relate with the other cards? How does it relate to you? Who are you in the tarot and who is somebody else? Because it doesn't always mean because somebody's a different suit, it's not you. I feel in this reading, some parts of you but it's the advice card that bothers me a little bit. We're going to go with the general energy first before I have a look at the advice card, uh, Virgo. And your general energy is showing up as temperance, along with the Four of Swords. So when you get the temperance card, temperance is about uh, a person, or it's about where we need to good way to try and learn tarot as well is enact what's going on on the cards. So this is what I'm going to be looking to do as well within the classes that I start next year. It's about closing your eyes and the temperance card, what's the person doing? So if I were doing temperance, if I were doing the actions of this angel, I'd be holding two cups and I'd be trying to... This person is weighing water from one cup to the other because this... Angel is trying to get the right measurements in each of the cups. That's how I figure sometimes the temperance card works. So I'd be closing my eyes and I'd be trying to measure, get the right measurement, the right combination between the two cups. Because temperance for me represents the working out of difficult situations. Some people would say it's the working out of opposing forces, but for me, the opposing forces come with our feelings because there's water in those two cups. And what is water? Water represents cups and its cups. So the cups are holding water. It's the same energy. So usually for me, temperance is mediating, trying to create the balance within our lives, trying to make an adjustment. So for some of you guys, you might be working through trying to make some form of adjustments within your life that are going to lead to the Four of Swords, which is peace. Often the Four of Swords uh, comes into our lives when we need a rest or we need to take time out. I've often seen this, if I've done a reading on myself and this card has shown up, it's telling me that I need to rest or I need to take some time out or I need just to take time out and collect my thoughts but I need to kind of take it easy or you know have a little bit of a break or something like that so I feel that it's almost like adjustment brings peace or something that you've worked out in the month of October 2016 Virgo brings you some inner peace because the four of swords is often 
inner peace, but we know that swords represent ideas, thoughts, beliefs, and also action stroke struggles. And I noticed with the Four of Swords that there are three swords above this guy's head. So the fourth sword he puts down, the fourth sword is the Ace of Swords. So what this guy does with that Four of Swords is he's not willing to take action on something until he's thought about it. So it might not so much be a case of something brings peace to you, it can be in terms of working something through. It could bring peace, but it might also be to think about the things that you do and also the, maybe the things that you act on or the ideas that you have. Because temperance for me is where you're either needing to go through a both cards for me, and they are actually, I feel that the lower sword, the four of swords is a lower echo of that temperance card. I think temperance might be number 16 within the tarot. I think it is. Let me just check with my book. Because I always get it mixed up with the temperance card. I think temperance is number 16 uh, within the tarot. The devil is number 15. Let's just see. Get my other one here. The sun. The star. 17. No, it's number 14, I believe. It comes before that. Yes, it is. It's number 14. The devil is number 15. Temperance is number 14. I always get that mixed up whether it's number 14 or whether it's number 16. Um, so it's number 14 and the four of swords is number four. So the four of swords is the lower echo, I guess, of the Temperance card. Both cards represent peace. They represent inner silence. They represent isolation to a certain degree. Uh, they represent thinking of ways of how to sort through an issue. Because the Four of Swords with this guy, with the three swords above his head, he's going to have to go on. He's going to have to take action on a certain situation, which is why you've got the Ace of Swords at the side of his bed but he's not willing to take any action yet until he's deciphered a way to sort out those three swords we know that the three of swords as a card on its own represents struggles difficulties uh heartbreak upset disappointment so this guy's has got some troubles okay that he's needing to sort through and he knows that he's going to have to kind of take action on those three swords he's going to need to sort the problem out which is why we have the four, the five of swords next which is the card that shows the actual fight, the actual conflict. But right now, he's going to work out a way of how he's going to sort that trouble out with the Three of Swords. So it could be with the Temperance card, you're working out a way of how to sort out a struggle. Or you're trying to mediate on some sort of problem. Because for me, the Four of Swords, it's not about... As I say, the cards are multifaceted, Virgo. They, they, they simply don't mean one thing. They really don't. Your general meaning for the Four of Swords is peace, uh, respite, recuperation, healing. Both cards can represent healing in the month of October 2016. But I feel that your advice card being what it is, it's not so much that. I feel there's something that you're going to need to kind of... Um, the Temperance card for me is working out of issues. So it's trying to create some form of a balance within our lives that makes us feel... A sense of completion and a sense of safety and a sense of peace within our lives but I feel with the four of swords showing there it's telling you to go even deeper and that by simply doing the actions by simply trying to work something through maybe with another person that's not enough I feel that you need to think about because I feel that there's something deeper that you need to kind of muse over if that makes any sense to you guys it's almost like temperance is not enough to try and create some form of balance is not enough. So I almost feel like the first idea that you have is not enough. And I almost get the impression that the temperance card might be the first idea that some of you guys have. It's almost saying to me, well, it's not enough just to do that. You need to go deeper with that four of swords. I mean, you, you know, because there's something that you're not seeing here. And what you're not seeing is there could be far more, you know, issues involved in this thing. If you were to go with the first idea, it might be that you 
don't anticipate that there might be more struggles or more problems to come. So it's almost like with the Four of Swords, other people might read this differently, and that's fair enough. Do you see what I mean? It could be that for some of you guys, you work something out and it leads to peace. But I feel that this is more, don't take the first thing, don't take the first route or the first decision you make to sorting something through and thinking it's going to be all resolved. I feel that Four of Swords says, we know that emotions are... To work something out within yourself emotionally is a great thing because when you work through how you're feeling about a particular situation, when you're able to kind of mediate and put things together in terms of how you feel, especially when it concerns somebody else or something else, that's great. But sometimes situations take a bit more thinking and a bit more musing on and I almost feel that the universe is saying that whatever this is, it's going to take a little bit more than just kind of putting the pieces together. You're going to need to go deeper into something. You're going to need to seek more information because there are still things that need to be resolved because the Three of Swords is above this guy's head and the Ace of Swords is at the side of him. So we can see that the struggles are right on top of him. They're right in his face. He's ready to take action, but not until he's sorted it through mentally. He's sorted through a strategy. So I almost feel that you need to strategize a little bit more, okay? It's, the Temperance card can talk about reunion. Two opposing forces coming together to kind of work things through. And that's great. But we also see the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is going a little bit deeper, especially when it's logical. So it's using your mind. It's using your self-awareness about a situation to sort something through so it's not as simple as a handshake it's more about well i need more information on this just to put my mind at rest if that makes sense to you guys your advice card is the four of cups and the four of cups is an indicator i feel in advice that it says be selective and i say that because even though we could say well the four of cups as a advice card could say you know well there is the potential for something new. You're not seeing it, but it's there for you. And that could be the advice, yes. There is the potential, because it's the Ace of Cups that's being offered. So Ace of Cups, oh, this isn't a love reading, I don't believe. Um, you've got a love reading anyway on the channel alongside this. I feel that this is more something, when we look at the Four of Cups as advice, it could say, you know, you actually have help or assistance there. Even if you can't see it, there is help coming in. And it could be with this reading, definitely, because the Ace of Cups is offered to someone where someone is offering you love or they're offering you a fresh start or they're offering you something new and something that will be able to open up avenues onto other things. So for some of you guys, it could be that there is an offer of something on the table for you. Even if you're not seeing it right now, any obstacles that maybe you're facing uh, don't worry about it because you'll overcome it. But also for me, the Four of Cups goes a bit deeper than that because when I look at this card a lot of the time, it reminds me that something is not enough. This cup is being offered to this guy, but he's not looking at the cup, he's looking at three cups. Now, we know that three cups are more than one. Okay, so whatever is being offered to this person here, he's not really, he's contemplating it, but he's kind of got his hands folded like this, like, hmm. Now, when we fold our hands, really it's, the body language is to say, keep out or keep away, or I don't want this. It's not open, it's closed. So I feel that this person is very closed to something that is offered to them because they're looking at three cups. So they're already, they're either looking at what they've already established and they don't need anything more, or they're not open to something new because of the three cups. Maybe they're quite happy with what they've got at the moment. Or it could be, well, you're offering me one cup, but why would I want to take this one cup when I've already got three? You know, you either match that or you give me more, if that makes sense. And this is a lot of my own interpretations of that card. And I feel as a tarot reader, if any of you guys are looking to get into tarot reader, don't always just go with what a general meaning is. Look at the card. Always stick with your general meaning. Yes, the basis. The basis is disappointment. The basis of this card is discontentment. The basis of this card is contemplating an offer. The advice is, could be you'll be contemplating an offer in the month of October 2016. But it also says be selective with what you choose. Because this guy is being very selective. He's already, And he's being selective because he's already got stuff there. He's already got those three cups. So if he's being offered one more, 
You know, this is not a card of greed. It can be a card of greed, especially if you're saying, I don't want to take what's on offer because I've already got more than enough. And if you're going to offer me anything, then I want much more than what I've got here, possibly. But it can also be, you know, I'm being selective because I've already got three of what you're trying to offer me. So I've already got stuff, so why would I need anything else? So really for me, the advice card could be that you're um, going to, the advice is to be selective in what he's offered to you. Because with him looking at the three cups, he's looking at a greater picture here. He's looking at something greater than one. Okay, so it could be that you're looking at something that you, you want more from something that's being offered to you. And therefore, be selective if you have more. If there's no need to take something new, don't take it, in other words. Especially if you've already got stuff there. It could be that the advice is, if you feel that you don't have help in a certain area, Virgo, in the month of October 2016, then you actually do have it, even if you're not seeing it right now. The first of the two cards is interesting because we've got a Four of Wands and we've got a Knight of Pentacles. Now, you could really get crazy with the Tarot because there are, as I said, there are many, many meanings around these cards. And even if you have certain combinations that everybody knows about, you can still add more. That's how it works with the tarot. You've got to work with your intuition. It's essential. You can't just go with... Because it would make no sense if you tried to match everything up. The Four of Wands is generally a card about success. So we gain. The card that precedes this is the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands is um, a card about a guy that's waiting for his ships to come in. So he's waiting for a return on his investment. The cargo comes in and he builds this. So this is really the happiness card. Finally, I've made a massive achievement right from the spark of the idea with the Ace of Wands. I took initial progress on that idea with the, uh, with the Two of Wands. With the Three of Wands, I want to see what comes back now after I've built what I need to build. I want to see the return and what I've put my investment in with that Two of Wands. To making the achievement with the Four of Wands. So you can see how the journey and the progression of the tarot goes. Okay, we can see that here at the Four of Wands, there is happiness and contentment and success. Because this is people who have built a certain way of life from scratch. And they built it from one idea. And that was the Ace of Wands at the very beginning of the, of the, of the, uh, of the pick cards, of the, of the wand pick cards. So we can see success that has been built on an initial idea, which was the Ace of Wands. I feel that with the Four of Wands, it could be for some of you guys, that there is a point that you have come to, you've reached some form of success or a level of success here, in which with the Knight of Pentacles, it could mean that there is stability, you're feeling stable, you have, if for some of you guys, it might be that you have a secure source of income, because the Four of Wands isn't just about success and stability, this can literally be owning a home. It can be owning a holiday resort, for example. It can be that you make your money from uh, a creative venture. So whether that's holding meetings, holding social gatherings, uh, networking with others. This can literally be a way of life that somebody is living and they're making money from it. They're making uh, successful gains from what they do. This can be something that suggests somebody perhaps works from home. This card can also represent a surprise that comes to you. But I feel that it's uh, something that you guys have built up here. And there is a sense of real achievement, I feel, with that Four of Wands. But I'm thinking to myself, we've got this Knight of Pentacles. And whilst we can say, well, maybe you have a steady source of income that comes through from that Four of Wands energy here. I feel that for some of you guys, you're going to be looking to take a little bit of money or a little bit of investment out of what you've already made. Because... The Knight of Pentacles is also somebody, and this is you, Virgo, because uh, I think Knight of Pentacles might represent a Virgo energy individual as well. So I believe that the Knight of Pentacles is actually you. And I feel that you are taking something out of a venture that is quite successful right now, or you're looking to do that potentially. And you're looking to offer it to another person. So for some of you guys, it might be that you are looking, usually when you get the Knight of Pentacles as well, this could be a business plan. So it could be that you've been quite successful with something. This Four of Wands can also be maybe an idea, because we know that the Wands represent ideas. 
belief, growth, um, ambition, motivation, all of those very good words. Okay, so for some of you guys, you might be celebrating because uh, you have a business plan or you have some form of plan that you've worked on that you're now looking to take forward. And I feel it's taking it forward in terms of a further plan or a further idea that you're looking to uh, move forward with. But I feel that you might need some form of assistance with this in the month of October 2016. Because I'm just looking at the Knight of Pentacles and how he is presenting this to an individual. Another one. We've got two court cards here. And usually when you see court card interaction, there's a conversation or there's something that's going on. So this guy, Knight of Pentacles, we don't see a conversation that's happening here. But we see a Knight of Pentacles who's presenting a business idea or a plan or uh, some form of uh, matter. Because the Pentacles can also be looked at in terms of the keyword as being matter. So he's presenting some matter to a King of Swords. Now you know that the King of Swords is not facing this individual. Alright. So... The King of Swords looks head on and the Knight of Pentacles is looking at him with this. He's presenting something to the King of Swords. But the King of Swords can be a fairly aloof character. Can be a fairly difficult character at the best of times. But I feel that this King of Swords is more listening. It's almost like somebody's listening. So I'm wondering if it's a telephone call that's going on here uh, in the month of October 2016. I feel there's going to be communication anyway. Uh, regarding perhaps another person and it feels going to be on a business idea that comes from you regarding something that you're either wanting to build you could be in something with another partner maybe because we've got the four of pentacles uh, four of wands here and sometimes this represents partnerships there's two people on that card and they're together so they're very much into something that they very much believe in there's a lot of excitement around uh, a particular uh, particular venture i feel for some of you guys and I feel that it's you that goes out and presents an idea to another person, the King of Swords. Now, we know the King of Swords are usually authority figures. So we're not seeing that this is a bank manager because it's a King of Swords. Now, Swords usually represent uh, people that work within uh, things like the legal system or um, things like the government system. Not always financial. They're not strictly bank managers, things like that. So I feel that this person might be an ideas person. It might be someone who has a lot of influence amongst other people, that type of thing. It might be a manager. He's not showing up as somebody who directly is affiliated to finances because he's a king of swords, but he's definitely got enough clout in order to action stuff because he's showing as a king and a king is an authoritarian individual. So I feel that you've got the ear of a king, or you've got the ear of somebody perhaps in authority. And I feel that this person has a lot of very strong ideas around this business plan that you have. I do feel that this person will be very, very interested. I feel that you'll pique their interest. Because we've got an ace of wands that shows up um, next door. And I feel that this guy, this king of wands, sees a lot of uh, potential within this Ace of Wands, because the Ace of Wands, is, the Aces we know represent potential. So they are the potential to act, they are the potential on a creative idea, so when you get an Ace of Wands, it's new inspiration, it's aha moment, it's the idea that suddenly opens up, it's the burst of inspiration, it's the burst of activity, it's the burst of excitement, it's a flash of excitement that goes off, because it's fire, and it's one wand, and it's also got a thumbs up, on that particular one. So somebody's like, yeah, brilliant idea. So I feel that you've got the ear of a king of wands, okay? But I feel that this king of, sorry, of this king of swords, but I feel that this king of swords more than anything is kind of, I'm not saying that he's playing you, but I feel that this king of swords is more about what this idea can do for him or what this plan can do for him as a person rather than what it can do for you. And I feel that that's why we've got the four of Cups potentially showing up in the month of October 2016, Virgo, because it's almost like it's saying, be very selective, okay, don't just take, because the temperance card could be you and this individual making an alliance, for example, okay, so the two of the temperance card is like the two of cups, but it's the one, to me, it's the one stage before you get to the two of cups, where it's like details are being worked out, 
But with the Four of Swords, it's almost like it's saying for the general energy, you know, take a pause on this because the Four of Swords can also mean to pause. So it's almost kind of saying, well, temperance, you're kind of figuring things out here in the month of October around some form of plan that you're moving forward with. I feel it's with another individual. But you need to take a pause on it because this Three of Swords, this is why this guy takes a pause. With that Ace of Swords there, the Ace of Swords is the sword that this uh, individual would go into take action so he would charge with that sword but the sword is down by the side of this geezer and he's looking at the three swords now the three of swords is very important i feel on the four of swords because it lets me know in some cases that there are still troubles ahead there are still things that need to be worked out because whilst we have that this person is that you guys might be sorting through things with another in the month of october 2016 for me it says take a pause before you actually completely pull that alliance in because there might still be some issues that you haven't resolved with this situation there could you know for me the four of swords is about forward thinking as well because the swords are above this guy's head okay and he's meditating on him he's thinking about the struggles ahead the struggles above his head so i feel that you know it's almost like taking a pause before you actually conclude on a matter and that could be why we've got the four of cups showing up as the advice card which is to be selective in what's being offered to you Take a pause. Take a pause on it. Um, because it could be that what you have right now is enough. And maybe you can make other alliances with other people, potentially. Because we've got that three of cups that the guy is looking at instead of the one. He doesn't want anything new because he may have other things, other alliances, other more successful collaborations with others. I feel with this king of swords... When you get kings, they're the absolutes, they're the authority figures. And I feel that you're presenting, you have the ear of an authority figure here with that king of swords, who thinks that your idea with this king of, this knight of pentacles, perhaps is a very fine one with the ace of wands. But this man seems to be deliberating the two of pentacles. He's almost hedging his bets for some reason here. He's trying to work something through. Whatever he's worked through, though, he sees as leading to victory. So he's weighed things up. And I feel that he's going to take a gamble or he's going to take some form of a risk because he knows that it's going to lead to victory. But the victory could be more on his sides than on yours, I feel. Okay, because the Two of Pentacles is also the card of 50-50. Or it can be the card of... Um, when I look at this card... I feel that one pentacle is up and one is down. So one is higher than the other. So it's almost like, for me, this two of pentacles can almost represent a disjointed decision, if that makes any sense, or a decision that maybe is slightly unfair. Because one pentacle, it's not like the pentacles are pretty much aligned with each other. It's like one is up like this and one is down like that. So it's almost like one is at... Uh, 75% and one is at 25%. I'm getting that 75-25 in maybe the King of Swords' favour. So this is why I feel that there could be someone who you are making a proposal to. There'll be communication with another person, I feel, Virgo, in the month of October. I feel that this person might see have a bright wave, a brilliant idea. This person might be very difficult to get to as well, I feel, because he's got a sword facing your pentacle. So if you look at this, you have a plan that you are offering to this individual, but the sword is where the, um, is where the severance is, or it's where the blockage is. It's all, usually when you get a sword and somebody's holding it in front of your face, like this, it suggests stop, or there is some form of a limitation. So I feel that almost within the month of October, Virgo, there is a limitation to something that you are offering. And I feel that it's around this King of Swords. He's seeing some form of a limitation, which is why he tends to put up some form of a block like this. You, you can only come so close. So I feel that there is communication here. But I also feel that this person, through the communication, through the plan that you are presented to this person... I feel that it's almost like, we know the King of Swords can be a very, even though he can be seen as being a very fair, rational, kind individual, he can also be quite an aloof and a cold one, that he's very self-absorbed as an individual. Now, yes, he's not in the reverse. 
and it doesn't indicate any kind of underhanded behaviour. But I feel that we don't need this King of Swords in the reverse because I feel that he is trying to work something out in his favour with this Two of Pentacles. Because he sees that whatever it is that he takes the risk or the gamble on, it's going to lead to absolute success for him, but not necessarily for you. Which is why I feel the advice is to be selective in what you choose, selective in what is given to you or what is proposed, because this person is being selective. When you get the Four of Cups, a lot of the time this card shows up as saying, I don't really want that, or I'm discontented with what's being offered. It's not enough to me. You know, I've already got something there. So why do I want to take one cup when I've got three? You know, you've got to do better than that. So I feel that in the month of... And also, it's funny, because what we have is... We've got a four of wands here. I feel there's something you may have built up already. Or something, if it's not that you've built up, you're very close to it. Or it's a great, great idea, maybe between you and somebody else. You take... A business plan around this situation. So you got your four of wands there. Sometimes I've seen this show up for people who are looking to invest in maybe a holiday resort or they're looking to set up some form of a retreat. Okay. So for some of you guys, that temperance in the four of swords could be maybe there's something to do with rest, respite, harmony, uh, holidays, taking time out, recharging of batteries. The energy might be around for you in terms of that in the month of October 2016, Virgo. So you might literally be thinking of, you know, I want to try and work something through with the temperance card. I'm trying to kind of uh, put the pieces together. Maybe I've got an idea on some form of retreat or something like that that I want to set up. Or something that's going to give help or respite or, you know, some form of health thing that I can maybe present to others. It, when you get the temperance and the four of swords... Those two cards together can mean something very, very spiritual. So it's almost like you're turning your back on the outside world and you're looking to go on a new spiritual journey, something that gives you a great spiritual enlightenment and balance. And maybe for some of you guys, you are looking to impart an idea around spirituality uh, towards somebody else. You want them to be a part of maybe a bigger dream. I'm getting here. For some of you guys, you've got a big dream that you want to fulfill. And I feel that it comes with this Four of Wands. We know that the Four of Wands can be a card about um, places where people holiday, uh, places where people gather, workshops, for example, um, working from home, something that one would do, something that's uh, a project that somebody, uh, someone would do from home. It can be to do with moves as well, housing. Um, it can be to do with uh, celebrations, parties, that type of thing. But I almost feel like there's a plan that you have regarding this Four of Wands. Either something to do with your home or something to do with maybe a spiritual retreat or something that you're looking to set up. It's a partnership. You've got a partnership with someone else. But it could be also that you are looking for a third party. Might be that you need more money on something because this Four of Swords, this person's not willing. They've worked, there's something that you've worked out maybe with somebody else. But maybe this Fourth Sword is saying on the bottom here, but I need to take, still take action on something here. Me and the, my business partner here are probably getting along just fine. We're probably trying to work things out. We're trying to create something here, create some form of, um, make some adjustments within the business plan or whatever this is. But the sword here, I'm not willing to take action yet because maybe I'm looking at the three of swords. Maybe I'm looking at forming a threesome rather than just a twosome. So maybe I need to add something else to this. Maybe, but then the three of swords can say, well, maybe I need a third person's idea. Maybe I'm looking to work three heads are better than two, that type of thing. So maybe two is not enough with the temperance card. And maybe you're trying to add a third spoke in the wheel. But I'm not willing to take action just yet until I've got all of this kind of aligned here, if you see where I'm coming from. And so we have the four of wands, and this is the potentially the thing that you're working on. Potentially the thing that you're very excited about, whether that be a holiday retreat that you're looking to invest in, spiritual retreat, um, some form of social networking maybe, um, something to do with uh, people gathering together, you know, workshops, that type of thing. And I feel with the Knight of Pentacles, you might have a business plan that you want to present around this idea of the Four of Wands. You look like you've got the ear of somebody who's in authority. But this person might have ideas of their own.
because they want to action it. The King of Swords, remember kings are doers within the tarot. So when you get a king, it does. So when you get a King of Swords, it's the thought that they act on. This is it. But they're coming from the perspective of Earth because all kings are rooted in Earth. And what does Earth do? It's you, Virgo. It works. It does. It's practical. It takes practical steps towards bringing something about in everyday life. So kings are doers. Kings are, this king will look at the practicality of an idea. How does it work? Is it workable? If it's work, let me have a look at the evidence. Let me have a look at your business plan. So the Knight of Pentacles presents the business plan. And because the King of Swords for me is looking out and he's got that sword, the idea, and the idea is up. So it's the Ace of Swords that the King of Swords has. So he has the idea, the mental clarity of how this is going to work on a very practical level for me. Because the King is based in Earth, though he's off air. So he's Earth of air. He takes the idea and looks how he can practically work it around and then he looks to go for the new goal. He looks to action it. So he's looking to action this business plan. But he's got a great idea around this. It suddenly sparks something off with him, with that Ace of Wands. It's a brilliant idea. It's given the go-ahead. I believe that this king has a lot of self-belief with this idea. He's looking to action it, coming from a place of how he, how he can see it working. So therefore, we have justice. And justice can usually represent a big decision that's made. And it leads to success for you, because you've got that Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, it might be that you're given money or you're given financial assistance. We know that the Ace of Pentacles can mean to receive cash, receive money. But in its general meaning, it's a card about abundance, success, prosperity. So the decision that is actioned with the Justice card, it leads to prosperity for you guys, I believe, with the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, it could be the gamble that you took, the two of Pentacles has led to success for you. But it could also be that this guy here wants maybe a greater share. Because when I look at the two of Pentacles, the fact that one Pentacle is up and one Pentacle is down, it almost suggests to me a greater share. Because one Pentacle is higher than the other. So I want a bigger share of the takings. Because this guy sees that this idea that some of you guys have in the month of October 2016 could really be a big money earner, okay? So you're given some money maybe with that Ace of, Peten with that Ace of Pentacles to develop something here. Because you've taken the business plan to that King of Swords. But I feel for some of you it might be someone who is kind of hedging his bets. He's looking at this idea with the Ace of Wands the real potential in this idea with the Ace of Wands, and he's saying, you know what, if I work my, play my cards right, you know what, I could actually, I could actually get more. And this is what leads to his success with the Six of Wands, which is why I feel that the Four of Cups is actually saying, be selective with what you're being offered. Because maybe this offer here with the Ace of Wands, would, with the Ace of Cups, sorry, is not enough. Because this person is looking at the Three of Cups. So he's looking at more rather than less, if we wanted to have a look at it that way. If we wanted to have a look at it, I suppose, in numbers, it could say, well, this person doesn't accept the one cup because he can sort of see more here in three cups. So for some of you guys, it might be that there are other avenues that you can take to success in the month of October 2016, which is why I said at first, don't just go with the one thing that is offered to you. Look around have a look at what other options there are because this person is looking at other options on that four of wands he's not just looking at the first thing that's offered to him he's actually looking at three cups more three is more than one so he's looking at other things other ways to success for me this three of cups could be well there are three more paths there are three more aces there are three more lines to success there are three more paths to a new beginning there are more paths to a new beginning rather than just accepting the one thing this, to me, this is why I say for some people, some of you guys, the advice card could be, be selective in what you take. Because it could be that someone, what you want is to really get something off the ground here. You've got the great idea with that four of wands. You've probably even built something and you're looking to expand on it even further. 
So you're looking to expand on that four of wands. You've built, so for some of you guys, it will literally be, well, I've already built something and it's quite successful. So why don't we just grow this big, uh, bigger? You may have spoken with a partner, but maybe we'll need a third person involved. We can't do it on our own. So you go to the King of Swords. He's like, yeah, with the Ace of Wands. Brilliant idea. The Two of Pentacles is underscoring that uh, King of Swords. So he's weighing things up. Maybe can I get a bigger share of this? He could be saying to you, because the Two of Pentacles can often represent communication. So he could be saying, we do have a communicative card, the King of Swords here. King of Swords also means to be direct when you come to communication. So he could be saying, you know, okay, so that's interesting to me, definitely. But, you know, it would need to be 75, 25 split or 60, 40 split. You know, I would need to take more of the share because this is going to be a real gamble to me. Okay, and therefore he's the Six of Wands guy. He's the person that gets the real achievement in this. Yes, there is a contract or an agreement on the table, something big to be decided, and as a result of that, there is success here. But then why do we have a Two of Pentacles here, right underscoring that King of Swords? For me, this is somebody who's hedging his bets because he's got a great idea that's going to lead to him being the actual winner. So I do feel for some of you guys, for some of you guys it won't be so bad. It's not even bad anyway. For some of you guys it will be that, you know, somebody agrees to something I feel. And there's real success here. Decision is being made. You get a good payout on it. Okay? Your gamble pays off with the Two of Pentacles and that Six of Wands. But I do feel for some of you guys, because we've got this Four of Cups. If that's the case, a gamble pays off and there's success and it's great. It could be the Four of Cups is saying as an advice card, you know what? Don't despair because an offer is on its way to you, all right? You just can't see it now, but it's coming to you. But for some of you guys that might be dealing with someone, I feel, who wants to take the share of what you've got, the bigger share, by kind of coaxing you into doing something because the King of Swords is a very, very highly, and he's a king, so he's higher than a knight, highly intelligent individual, highly intelligent. This is why he makes a good lawyer. He makes a very good businessman as well. Because mentally he's really on it. Okay, so, and what's underscoring this King of Swords is money. That Two of Pentacles. And he has the intelligent, the mental intelligence to broker a deal here in his favour, I feel. Okay, so I feel for some of you guys, it's going to be a great month. You get exactly what you want in terms of a deal, in terms of a payout, leads to victory. You played your cards right. For some of you guys, it could be that the cards are in somebody else's favour. Okay, possibly leaving you maybe a little bit short. So I feel that the Four of Cups is saying in that case, you know, be selective in what you take because with the Three of Cups, there actually could be more that you could go for here. You could gain more if you just looked hard enough. And let's have a look at what the angels are saying to you about this reading this month. Right. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for Virgo in the month of October 2016? What's the advice? What's the advice that you have for Virgo? What is the advice? Show me. What's the advice that you have for Virgo in the month of October 2016? Show me the advice. What advice do you have for the zodiac sign of Virgo in the month of October 2016? It says success. Wow. Success is coming to you. So, let's read this. Congratulations, you are on the road to success. You needn't have any reservations about your situation as it's going to work out beautifully. Part of living a successful life is taking care of yourself. It's wonderful to have many things to be grateful for, but make sure you don't wear yourself down by working too hard. Take time to enjoy peace in your life, which is brilliant. So I feel here it's a great thing to say success, and I dare say for a lot of you guys on this reading, it could be complete success. 
So maybe we don't have somebody who's being underhanded. I'm not saying he's being underhanded, but somebody, the reason why they do something is because I feel that Two of Pentacles, which underscores that King of Swords, because he sees that taking a gamble can lead to success for him. Maybe taking the lion's share of something can lead to... Because the Two of Pentacles is often hedging your bets on something here. Okay, and well, what do, why do we hedge our bets? Because we feel that, you know, if we... If we do something one way, it might lead to something better than doing it another way. Okay? So, for this King of Swords individual, this is not to say it's all unfair at all. Not at all. For some of you guys, it's going to be complete success on something here. But for some of you guys, I feel with the Four of Cups as the advice card, I'll stick to it and I'll still say, be selective in what you take. Okay? Be selective. And in fact, we know that the Four of Cups in a future situation, which we're looking at now in the month of October, is telling you to be selective. Think about everything that you've gone through. Think about the experiences that you've had. Think about the experiences that other people around you might have had. Or the things that you've seen on television. Or the things that you've seen wherever. That have shown up where people have not been paid or given their, you know, their dues. If it's, for example, especially if it's something that you've worked really hard to make a success of. And you're taking part of that and you're presenting it as a business plan you're taking that risk that somebody else might be interested in helping you to expand on something here it's saying make sure that you get the best deal for yourself in the month of october and if you do that i believe it will lead to absolute success that is your reading virgo for october 2016 i would like to say thank you very very much for using carol's universe and i will see you guys you've got your love reading also so just have a look at that flip over and have a look but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the month of November 2016 and uh, take care. Bye bye.